he's a big old powder puff. Ain't no, you'll feel bad. You ever seen a dude who his thighs is starting to fire with every step? He got some huge. Well, what up, y'all? It's the answer. We back with another one, man. This was funny. You know the boy Poetic Flocko. He be on Clubhouse. But when he get on Adam Jumper, man, he be feeling himself. He from Billings, Montana. Like, calm it down, bro. But Wack ran into him yesterday during the interview. And he gives us the story. We react to it. Let's go. Yeah, I acted a goddamn fool on goddamn No what'd, Jumper. What'd you go on, what'd they ask you on No Jumper? What was the question they got at you about on No Jumper? Man, they asked me all kind of shit. I caught that from Poetic Flock. So come bring your punk ass over here and sit down, nigga. Right now. Sit right here. Called him. That nigga act just like academics. Why be academics? I'm telling you. That nigga act talk like he and everything, bro. Yeah. Oh, like we can't do none of that. Dude. He's a big old puff powder puff dog. Oh. I promise you, bro. This, I, who is this nigga like? He's a big old powder puff. Ain't no. You'll feel bad. You'll do that ass and be, be. You'll really feel bad. You'll go up there and be like, man, I didn't mean that. Big I'm telling you, bro. Nah, this nigga is like a. He built like a oompa loompa nigga. The nigga, the nigga thought. You ever seen a dude who his thighs is starting to fire with every step? He got some huge. Well, who are you talking about? The nigga poetic flocko. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Some no yeah, jumper. You can't some do no jumper. He you can't do here. nothing with this dude, bro. This nigga don't mean nobody. No, he don't even. Wait, know. how long? He been with no jumper for how long though? Uh, probably about nine months, six months, maybe a year, Cause, maybe. Because I remember him when Clump back in the day in sleep was like, I had the nigga block for a long time. Oh yeah, make him up. Uh, he wanted PT, a one hundred PTR, two P's in there, an uh, R&B. Let me send you a picture. He he said he wanted one hundred PTR. But I've been there wild. I, I talked about, I talk about all the rooms. I gave a clubhouse interview. You chilling with the answer. Uh, so you stopped in the middle of the interview and told him to go follow the greenhouse to the top? Well, I was saying all kinds of shit. I got that nigga Adam caught up in one of them black white conversations. That nigga let that go for like 10, 15 minutes. And, and he got the f out of that conversation. Yeah, he was like, what do you mean? Are you saying that? White people are calculated. I said, y'all been calculating since the beginning of the time. What do you mean? Slave ship, get them here, sell them here, take them here, put them here, put them in this field. What do you mean? Y'all been calculating. The guns, the drugs, drop them off here. Was saying white people ain't calculating. I got that nigga in that little rabbit hole and was punching on him. He got the f out of here. Let's change the subject. Let's change the subject. Well, there it is, man. Check out the other video. It's a full breakdown of a poetic flacco. Ever since he got on No Jumper, he don't take feedback in terms of talking greasy. He think he could just get away with it. All that type of stuff, man. Like the media training part, right? You're not academics yet, bro. Just slow down. You might get there, though. But if somebody in the business is trying to advise you, go ahead and take that advice. Yo, it's your man, Dell. We out. It's the answer. Like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, y'all.